Mo's video. What do I have today for you? Today I want to discuss a movie I watched last week, which is Toodaloo. Yes, I also wrote a movie review about it. I have placed or will place it very soon on www.kanmouse.com. But since a different audience is reading, watching, and I like to make YouTube videos a bit more than we used to, I am going to do a um, review on here as well. And I will place it also in the article so people who read will also be able to, uh, to watch it as well if you prefer that. Uh, yeah, so let's discuss To The Loo. I really liked the title. Um, I got the DVD for Christmas. You can see that in my uh, Xeno Pictures unboxing um, video. And um, yeah, it was basically a while for Christmas that I was looking around for some new movies and I always know that Xeno Pictures has a lot of movies that I like. So I, I browsed around and to the loo it caught my attention right away because of the title already. I mean, to the loo, if, if you're listening in, in you, yeah, in English, to the loo, to the toilet, but also um, in Dutch you say like to the loo when you go away. No, no, by, by the way, don't say it when you go to the Netherlands because almost no one says that anymore. It does mean it, but people will look weird when you say that. So <laughs> don't start on that. <laughs> I don't want to learn you any <laughs> Dutch things would people find a, a, a tad strange. But it does mean like hi, bye, whatever. So I, I liked the, the, the title, though it's of course spelled differently. It's like T-O-D-E-L-O-O. -O -O. Um, yeah, so my attention was drawn. And I read the the, the description that uh, was there for the DVD, and then I read that uh, yeah, basically I read something about a serial killer and him uh, flushing his victims through the toilet, and then I was like, this is weird, and I like weird, so on the list. Yes, I was very curious, and I saw that the director was uh, Johan van der Woesteiner who also directed Rabbit Grannies. Sigmund has already um, written a review about that for Conmos. You can find it on our website on their movie reviews. And we really like that movie. So that just emphasized the idea that I wanted to see it and gave me the confidence just to, to try it out. So basically then I got the movie for Christmas and I watched it. Otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here right now doing the movie review, of course. Um, what did I think of it? Yeah, it was... The movie was about a lot of things. Most of the movie is at the toilets. Yes, it is really like to the loo. Yes. It's about a toilet lady, Charmaine, who, yeah, basically is there, gets the money from the people who go to the toilets, cleans everything and that's it but of course strange things happen there is a tax controller who comes in and out every day just to check up on her and see how many customers she gets and if she's doing the taxes right of course she doesn't know he's a tax controller then there's a drug dealer and a drug addict they go into the toilet deal toilet toilets deal drugs, etc, etc. And there's of course the serial killer that I was talking about. So basically a lot of stories who also intertwine and come together and of course the tax controller finds out people are dealing drugs and you know every, everything um, comes together and Jermaine is also hunting on people that always want to come in for free and basically wait until she's busy with someone else and sneak in. So. Yeah, the, the basis of the story is the toilet lady with her toilets. And then you basically get an insight in everything that's happening in there. And I didn't say it, but um, if you know the director, you'll know, but it's a Belgian movie. So that that is the story. And I have to say, it's a bit of a, a dark 
comedy kind of movie. It is, it is a comedy, it is funny and surprising. I mean, I have to say, a, a lot of the plot twists and things that happened I didn't expect. It's not like if when I read the plot and, and read all the different things that I was already able to say okay this is gonna happen and that is gonna happen so it was really surprising to me though sometimes um, things didn't weren't too logical that is that is the only thing that I can say about it that bothered me sometimes even though it is logical for a a, a comedy like movie but I, I that's always hard for me. <laughs> I, I, I like things to make sense and to to stay constant over the movie. Just to give an example, like the, the drug dealer at, at some scene, he was like very aggressive and like, give me the money and bang. And then on another moment, like someone came out of the toilets, someone way smaller and weaker than him. And he was like, oh, oh I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I was like, why? I, I, that that I, it didn't make fully sense to me, but on the other hand, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it was just these small things, but that's also part of, uh, yeah, how, how the movie went and, and, and everything that was, that, that belongs to it. What I really liked was all the different characters, the way they came together, the way it wasn't predictable at all it was it was very nice i really liked the the guy who played the drug dealer by the way i think he he, he did a great job and it was very fun the doyle lady is very convincing as well i mean it, it, sometimes when you see her it, it just feels like there's a, a candid camera somewhere it, it could be like she she really was the one there so that that is what I really really liked. I really like that nothing is what it seems and that things change. The story is very much alive. There's a good pace. Things are not too too slow. Um and yeah, the, the movie just keeps going on very nice and it was very very surprising to me. I had to to, to laugh a few times when you have watched it. It does make sense and you will know what's going on and what ha what's happening and that is what I really like but you still will have the feeling like okay this was a very strange movie <laughs> and it is I, I mean I think it is but I really like it I really think it is it, it is a good movie to watch and I hope more people will watch it and it will get a bit more well known because it's definitely worth a watch because it's very original, creative, uh, nice actors and it's just a, a well thought of story which is really uh, fun and good to watch. Yeah, I, I'm really glad I did and I am really glad to add it to my collection. I mean people who, who have seen more videos you will know that I also love movies like uh, the, the thingy about the human placenta and I really liked um, Teeth. Uh, Rubber was also one of the movies that I really liked. I, yeah, it is. It is one of the movies that that um, I'm glad to have on my list that I watched, and I do recommend just to watch it if you have a bit of the same tasty movies that that I do, that we do. Um, yeah, just try it out and and see if you uh, if you like it. That is basically it. Um, if you want to read more about it, maybe I forgot to say things that I wrote down in my review. Check out the review on www.comwells.com. And um, do remember, if you want me to, to do a review on another movie or if you have any questions, just drop your comments below or send us an email at info at .com. We're always happy to, uh, to respond. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. And do let me know what you think of the movie if you have seen it or if you would watch it after hearing uh, what I said. So thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>